Hello all, I am really excited to introduce you to Ymonitor, one of our new products at HackerArsenal.com and in this short video, I am going to be running you through what this device is and what it can do for you. So let's get started. Okay, so why why monitor, right? Why need yet another Wi-Fi monitoring tool or device? Uh, don't we already have enough Wi-Fi cards and you know enough tutorials online to do this? Now I've been teaching and researching Wi-Fi security uh, for the past decade, and over all of these years, what I've actually found is there are some common monitoring challenges in Wi-Fi. Uh, which most of us face regardless of if we are beginners or intermediate or advanced users. So what are they? So the first thing is of course finding the right Wi-Fi card, right? And we all know how painful this can be a lot of times. Manufacturers end up changing chipsets, sometimes you know the newer drivers don't work, a lot of problems. Now even if you do find a Wi-Fi card which supports monitor mode, uh, then comes the challenge of finding a driver which supports all the functionality you need uh, for the operating system you'd like to use. Now, we've all been there and unfortunately, most cards will not allow you to do monitor mode across all operating systems, right? So, well, is there a card which you could use for both Linux, Windows, Mac OS? Uh, I, I really don't think so. Now, how do people typically go about it? So we all install our little virtual machine, you know, we have Kali or some other operating system in there. We connect the card uh, using the USB port. And then of course we, we go ahead and try to use that to sniff and monitor packets on Wi-Fi. Now, personally, I find this very interesting. Uh, and of course, as a researcher, as a student, someone learning, this is great. But at the very same time, this is extremely cumbersome, right? We have to install, uh, you know, all the VM software on our machine. And a lot of times, hey, I mean, this could be our primary laptop, which we use for work. And uh, we might find it difficult to install something so heavy duty. We might not even have admin privileges to do that many a times. So uh, I hate the part where I always have to have like a VM available to me in order to do Wi-Fi monitoring. Uh, or of course, to go ahead and do a bare metal install. Now, apart from that, you also have to remember to make sure that your hopping channels or you, you know, go ahead and decide on which subset of channels you'd like to monitor and make sure that your tool, which might be error dump or any other channel uh, hopping utility can go ahead and do that while you're monitoring the air. Now, even if we do all of this and we start collecting the packets, again, the key challenge is if you wanted to really send these packets over to you know, a target machine where you have all of that analysis going on, that's again very painful, right? You might have to mount uh, you know, a remote file system or you may have to copy out PCAPs or transfer them out over SFTP uh, you know, or some other network protocol. Again, setup is required and you need to spend time doing pretty much the same thing, you know, uh, all the time. Now, apart from that, of course, it's very painful to carry a laptop all around, right? If you wanted to kind of do monitoring. And what I mean by that is, well, you have to have your laptop, your VM, uh, you know, everything installed. And if you don't have that and all of a sudden you'd like to monitor Wi-Fi, well, you can't. Uh, and this is really where the, the key reason why we created Why Monitor, and personally to me, why this was something very interesting and useful, was hey, all I wanted was I should be able to plug in a device, start looking at packets, start doing my Wi Fi monitoring and analysis. I did not want to bother about all of those nitty gritty details every single time. And this is really why we created. Y monitor. So what does Y monitor do? Y monitor has a built-in card inside it which supports Wi-Fi monitoring on the 2.4 gigahertz band. 
So we can do BGN monitoring. Along with that, what we've also done is you can go ahead and automatically hop channels. So if you configure Y monitor to either hop all channels or a subset, once you do that, it just automatically does that in the background. You don't have to monitor whether channel hopping is running or not. We have a watchdog in there and if for any issues, uh, you know, the program exists, it will automatically restart it. What we've also done is we have a sniffer program running on the device, which captures the packet and encapsulates that into, you know, an industry recognized format called Aruba ERM and forwards it over ethernet to a target IP where you'd like to do all the live analysis. Now, the best part is Aruba ERM is supported out of the box by Wireshark. So you can pretty much go into Wireshark, make sure that you tell Wireshark you're expecting ERM packets, and then there you go. I mean, you can pretty much uh, automatically decapsulate those packets and start looking at Wi-Fi traffic live. It's just that simple. Now, along with that, you know, Wi Monitor runs on Linux, at the very same time, you can power it using any standard USB-based battery. Uh, and all of this makes Y Monitor an extremely useful device. As I said, I've been doing Wi-Fi penetration tests and training for the past decade, and I myself have used Y Monitor over the last six months before I decided to formally go ahead and launch this as a product on Hacker Arsenal. So I hope all of you guys Love using Y Monitor as well. Uh, this is all I had in mind for this introduction video. We have other videos where we describe how to set up Y Monitor and use it effectively, which I'd highly recommend that you go and watch. So thank you very much and visit us as hackeredarsenal.com. Thank you.